I'm the Benini Maori. This video will give you an insight into what the government of Kiribati has developed and accomplished during the Ban Kiribati Party's ruling term in 2016 to 2020. We will also place Kiribati's efforts within global communities and various frameworks that help us all to fight against corruption. Internationally, the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, or UNCAC, is the first legally binding global anti-corruption instrument. The convention was adopted by the General Assembly in October 2003 and entered into force in December 2005. To date, there are 186 countries, plus the EU, that have become state parties to UNCAC, representing a groundbreaking commitment to tackle corruption. UNCAC is unique in its holistic approach to opting prevention, criminalization and law enforcement, international cooperation and asset recovery. Kiribati ratified the convention of the 27th of September 2013. Years after the signing of the convention, the Ban Kiribati Party began its journey after winning the national election by His Excellency the Berestan Stanis Mamo in 2016. The government of today embarks on the ruling party's Mosinnano or manifesto that underpinned their desire and leverage to prevent and fight corruption in the long run. This government established its first ever anti-corruption select committee on the 9th of May 2016 and ended in December 2018 with its TOR to assist in the fight against corruption. There are 16 cases completed by this committee and tabled in the House of Parliament. It is clearly stated under the Kiribati Vision 20 or Gavi 20 Pillar 4 governance to envision Kiribati a corrupt free society by 2036. It was then affirmed when His Excellency the Medestans signed the National Anti-Corruption Strategy on the 27th of September 2017, covering the period of 2017 to 2019. The Leadership Commission came into existence in March 2018 following the passing of the Leaders' Code of Conduct Act 2016 and the appointment of founding commissioners and chairman by the President. The primary purpose of the Commission is enshrined in our vision for Kiribati to be a corruption-free nation by 2036, where leaders carry out their duties diligently with honesty and integrity, and the rights of civil society to an honest and responsible leadership and government are protected. The core function of the Commission is to conduct investigation and alleged violation of the code by leaders, recommend and impose appropriate civil and administrative remedies and sanctions on the offenders, and educate the public on their rights and obligation to fight and prevent corruption. Although the strategy covered three consecutive years, the desired outcome of this strategy was to achieve its long-term vision that would make Kiribati a corrupt-free society. This strategy document emphasizes the need for the government to act on anti-corruption programs through a all-of-government approach. The strategy focus areas are anti-corruption in the public sector, institutional capacity building, public finance management and procurement, criminalization and law enforcement, public awareness and education, legislation review, fighting corruption in the private sector, and then international cooperation and asset recovery. At the same time, as the government embarked on major societal reforms with results-oriented, reform-based and people-centered development, it is necessary that anti-corruption should be placed at the heart and center of all activities. This is essential since corruption undermines economic growth and prosperity destroys democratic principles and causes poverty, inequity and instability. As a small nation that has just over 100,000 people with a total land area of 811 square kilometers and limited resources located in a vulnerable position, we came to realize that we need to continue our cooperation and partnerships with our development partners to achieve our sustainable development goals. We therefore keep calling our long-term development and new partners on this voyage to battle with us in implementing this strategy and to offer support in accomplishing our development aspirations. 
Since the signing of this anti-corruption strategic plan, we are grateful to report as of today, significant progress with 70% of all commitments achieved. With our strong will and dedication, we aim to reach 100% completion by the end of this year, 2020.